Hello, this is Bern, and if you find yourself in the middle of a very painful, tempestuous relationship and you just don't know how to leave or if you can leave, well, on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you five signs that you might be in an addictive relationship, so stick around. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today's another edition of Get the Love You Crave. And on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you five signs that you might be in an addictive relationship. So, addictive relationships are incredibly painful for many reasons. They, they, they are very intense, they have super highs and super lows. And at the same time, most women that I've connected with who are in the middle of an addictive relationship don't really know that they're in the middle of an addictive relationship. They just think that it's really passionate. They feel like the love is so intense, that's why it feels this way. And, uh, and what I wanna share with you today is how to start figuring out if you're in the middle of one of this, because you absolutely need to get some help if that's the situation. First sign that you might be in an addictive relationship is you don't feel complete without your partner. So you're one of those women right now who, as long as he's lurking around, as long as he's with you, your life is sunshines and butterflies and rainbows and unicorns. But if he's missing in action, and it happens often because he might disappear and he might break contact with you, you start going insane inside. You start feeling like you can't breathe. You start feeling like your world is ending. You have a dark cloud over your head until and unless you hear back from him then you can relax and breathe and then sunshine again. So that's the first sign that you might be in an addictive relationship. Second sign is you do not have sustainable periods of time in a healthy state of well-being with him. What the hell does that mean? It means that your times with them are incredibly intense and passionate or incredibly Romeo and Juliet type of painful as fuck on the other extreme. There's not much in between. You're either super shiny or super low with him, either having amazing sex or arguing and, and, and wishing each other uh, bad things. So if you recognize right now in your relationship that it's really uh, one of those extremes, hot and cold, almost bipolar relationships, that's another sign that this could be addictive in nature. Why? Because addictions typically create that intensity uh, at the highest extremes, but it's unsustainable, right? Number three is, despite the fact that this dude, despite the fact that this guy is manipulating you constantly, despite the fact that he's abusing you emotionally, despite the fact that he might even be abusing you physically, or even sexually, you don't feel you can leave him. You've convinced yourself this specimen this a-hole is as amazing as a guy would ever be. No one will understand you the way he does. Nobody gets you. The intensity will never be the same. All this kind of BS you tell yourself as you justify his behavior or justify you staying in it, saying, if I leave him, I will never experience this level of passion again. So you stay in something that's incredibly painful and addictive in nature. Uh, number four is uh, your preferred method of solving conflict with him is through having sex. Well, what does that mean? It means that you don't have the vocabulary or the communication skills with him, or maybe you do, but he doesn't. So when you go through these lows, these moments of extreme anger, uh, fights, uh, verbal abuse, emotional abuse, or even physical abuse, the way to make up is to have sex. You can't basically set a strong boundary with him. He can't really promise he's not gonna do it again because he will. So you figure out, well, if we connect sexually, that means everything's okay because we feel close together. So this is just putting a big piece of masking tape on a crater that's exploding. You know, it's, it's impossible to do it. Feels doable in the moment, but it's just not sustainable. It's not doable because why? Because the problem resurfaces again and again and again. And every time you make up with him with sex, your emotional well-being is being challenged and your sense of identity and your sense of worth is eroding rapidly. Uh, the fifth of the signs that I'm sharing with you today that you might be in an addictive relationship is uh, even though you are open with him vulnerably, even though you're really into him emotionally, he does not have the capacity to be with you emotionally, uh, you're much more into him than he's into you, 
uh, you're open and uh, sharing your heart and he's avoiding you, he's avoidant and you're, <laughs> and, and you're really, ch it's almost like you're chasing him to be with you and he's just like pushing you, pu pushing you, pushing, unless he wants something then he might come to you that way. The dynamics are such that you're really pursuing him heavily emotionally and he's stoic, he can't express himself, he can't be vulnerable with you, he can't be emotionally open, he's emotionally close and you're emotionally seeking his greatness. So there you have it in a nutshell, five out of many more signs that you might be in an addictive relationship so that you can self-diagnose right now. And the last thing I'll say to you right now is that if you do find yourself that this is not just like maybe one of the signs or something, uh, especially number three, if you feel like this guy is being abusive and you can't leave him, that's a clear sign in and of itself that you're in, abusive, you're in an addictive relationship. But the other ones, you can combine them, there's higher, lower intensities, but if you do realize, you know what, I have a problem with this, you need to get some help. So if you find this is helpful, useful, and insightful in some way, I'm gonna ask you to do three things, my dear. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the first line of the description of this video, you will find a link that will take you to a master training I've put together for you that will show, share with you how you can create the kind of relationship you want. So if you're part of you not being able to leave this kind of relationship is, I don't know what, that I can really find something out there. This training will show you specific ways of getting the kind of relationship you want. First step is you're gonna have to leave this one, but here I'll show you how you can create the kind of relationship you want starting from scratch. Thank you so much for connecting with me. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.